And now we take you live to French Trump's weekly press conference. Hello, it is our French President Trump, and I'm here today for the weekly French President Trump press conference. I shall now take questions from the press. Mr. President. Mr. Mr. President. 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 Yes, you. Thank you, sir. Emmett Manning, New York Newsday. Sir, are you concerned that after your Omaha rally, hundreds of people were left out in temperatures so cold that seven people had to be ambulanced to the hospital? No, I'm not concerned. I think they were early voters. Wait, sir, you're not concerned? Don't you owe these people an apology? Many in the crowd were quite elderly. No, I don't owe them an apology. Look, if I apologized for every selfish, shitty thing I did, I would not have time for anything else. It is not my fault they live in Nebraska. I don't even like corn. Besides, most of those frozen mega pups have pre-existing conditions, so this trip to the hospital will be the last chance they have to be covered out by insurance. They should thank moi. Next question. Next question. Mr. President, 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 Mr. The White House has released a list of science accomplishments that include ending the virus in your first term. Was this falsehood your idea? That is fake news, fake news. It was not a falsehood. It was simply worded incorrectly. It came from our science department, not our English department. What we meant was, in the first term, we ended ending the virus. Next question. Next question. Thank you, Mr. President. Tony Romo with ABC News. Uh, Tony, Mr. good President. to see you. Very good to see you. Thank you for the pizza pie, Tony. You're welcome, Mr. President. But Mr. President, Dr. Fauci told us back in late spring that the virus would soar in the fall, and it has. We have record number of infection, and yet... For weeks, you continue to repeat publicly that we are rounding the corner with the virus. Why do you insist on saying that? It's fun. Think about it, Tony. Who would you rather have at the party? Moi or Fauci? I dance. I make shit up. I tell jokes. I talk the locker room talk. Fauci goes to a party, puts a lampshade on his head and says, Wear a mask and don't touch your face. Next question. Next question. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Tom Snell, CNN. In a recent rally, sir, you said that Biden uses a teleprompter and that you don't. Well, you were using a teleprompter. Isn't that more of this practice of saying something that is clearly untrue and just repeating it relentlessly until a certain percentage of people believe it more than they believe their own eyes? History tells us, sir, that that is a technique that Joseph Goebbels used. And you'll recall he was the Reich Minister of Propaganda in Nazi Germany. You are an idiot. I do not use a tele... tele... teleprompter. I have never used a teleprompter. I will not use a teleprompter. Joe Biden uses a teleprompter and he is a Nazi. Next question. Next question. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, you, you, you. Thank you, Mr. President. Emmett Manning, New York Newsday. Mr. President, Leslie Stahl from 60 Minutes ah, asked you. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh, sir, in your interview with Leslie Stahl, she asked. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, wait, where'd he go? He's crouched behind the speaker, near the teleprompter. I am not. Sir, in your 60 Minutes interview, Leslie Stahl asked ah, you... Ah, ah. Okay, sir, the interviewer suggested that you put your perceived political enemies at risk by supporting these terrible locker-up chants at your events, which you vehemently denied. Subsequently, when another such chant took place at your Arizona rally, you laughingly told the crowd that you were an innocent bystander to the incident. How does that square with being a leader? 
I'll tell you how it squares with being a leader. Go fuck yourself. That's how it squares with being a leader. I will lead your mother's twat. Next question. Next question. Thank you, Mr. President. Tony Romo again with ABC News. Mr. President, you have a history, even before your political career, of walking out of interviews if you were confronted with your wrongdoing. But now, sir, like it or not, you are a politician and you are accountable to the American people. What question did Leslie Stahl ask you that you thought should have been off limits? She asked why I did not develop a health care plan. That is way out of line. I am very sensitive about not developing a health care plan. How do you think it feels to be president of the United States, spending four years gutting and trying to further gut the health care plan that the American people have, which continues to grow in popularity, and not to have created one of my own? That bitch is so insensitive. Why doesn't she just call me fat to my visage? Next question. Next question. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Yes, you right there. Yes, you. Yes. Gracias, Mr. President. Antonio Montoya with Telemundo again. Do you think your poor standing in the polls is causing you to have tantrums? Oh, am I not doing well in the polls? I had not noticed. I'll tell you what I have noticed. I've noticed that the press asks Joe Biden what flavor ice cream he likes. And they ask moi about health care, about cheating with the Russians, about my secret Chinese bank account, about me paying no income tax, about rip allegations against moi, about the fucking virus and their goddamned unemployment. Why does no one care what my favorite ice cream flavor is? I want ice cream. I want ice cream. Next question. Karen Von Carlson, OAN. What is your favorite ice cream, sir? Thank you for asking, Karen. When I'm in Nebraska, it's corn. Next question. Next question. Mr. President, thank you, Mr. President. Tom Snell from CNN again. Sir, Amy Coney Barrett did not participate in the Supreme Court rulings on extended ballot deadlines for Pennsylvania and North Carolina because she did not have time to read the briefs. Was that a blow to you? It was not the kind of blow I like. It's such bullshit. Why does she have to read the briefs? I did not put her there to read briefs. What are these briefs going to say that is any different than what any other briefs say? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Ho, ho, ho. Another episode of Dick and Jane. That sort of thing. Next question. Next question. Mr. President. Mr. President. Yes, you right there. Yes, you. Mr. President, right here. Mr. President. Karen Von Carlson again. O-A-N. What's your favorite color, sir? Red. Thank you for asking, Karen. Next question. You're Next welcome. question. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Yes, right over right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yes, you. Thank you, Mr. President. Emmett Manning, again, New York Newsday. When you introduced Martha McSally to speak to the crowd in Arizona, you actually said she could only have one minute because you said no one wanted to hear what she had to say. Is that how you treat your Republican colleagues? I let her speak for an hour, just before I cured the virus and brought back clean coal. Next question. Next question. Mr. President. Yes, right over here. Yes, you, you, you. Karen, yes, you. Thank you. Karen Von Carlson, OAN. Who are you rooting for in the World Series, sir? The Pittsburgh Pirates, Karen. This press conference is over. So's the World Series. Who won? The Dodgers. I was a Dodger once. A draft Dodger. This has been a live broadcast of French Trump's weekly press conference. Star Fans Avenue. A, podca- <clears throat> a podcast network.